Welcome to the NTD Technical Corner. Today I'm really excited to be reviewing a brand new innovation from GOM, virtual clamping. Kev, welcome back to the NTD studio. Thanks for having us. No, thank you. This is an absolute privilege to be reviewing mm. this new product. Kevin, it's not something that you'd necessarily associate from GOM, so can you tell mm. our audience about this new innovation? Okay, so this is one of the, one of the latest software tools that GOM have developed. So virtual clamping is taking care of what the physical checking fixture would do. So what I mean by that, if you've got a non-rigid part, so a, a thin sheet metal part or a plastic part, so the, fixture, the purpose of the fixture in this example here is that it's, it's holding the part in a, a particular shape, simulating how it would be built to its neighboring parts. So the software tool is taking away the need to have that physical fixture and the output from the software would be a distorted scan to reflect how it would be in the real world, but the scanning process is done in free state. So we've just seen the dedicated fixture. Now that we can see the, mm -hmm. the mechanical aspects of mm -hmm. the virtual clamping, mm -hmm. and you're just holding it on, or mm -hmm. holding the part in, in, in three points? Yes. So in the software, what we can do, we've got three known location points, the parts put down, there'll be an effect of gravity. The software will take away the gravity. If it's a, an automotive part, maybe we need to put it into car line, reapply the effect of gravity in the, in, the, in the true real world direction. But then we're, we're kind of distorting the scanned mesh, which is a combination of kind of simulation almost in the background of the software to, to simulate how the part, the shape of the part will be in when it's clamped. And then we do our typical measurement and inspection and we get an inspection report, be it a color plot or be it individual points to show us the, the result of that part. So effectively, it's eradicating dedicated fixtures such as what we've just seen with just mm. three mechanical universal fixtures. Exactly that. And that's it. Yes. And what kind of cost savings would you associate with this? So the, the, the quick, easy, direct cost, cost savings are the, the costs associated with the dedicated fixtures. But they, they don't really stop there because obviously fixtures need to be stored. So there may be an associated cost for storage space and calibration, etc. So these virtual clamps effectively that are mm -hmm. put onto your machine bed can stay there permanently and accommodate for all types of componentry. Don't matter what, mm -hmm. well, don't matter yes. really of size. Yeah. Uh, yeah. within that working mm. envelope. So as part of the process, we just capture the position of those connecting points. So if we need to move them for different shapes and sizes of parts, that's fine. And we can do that. And then we just can compensate the, any distortion, gravity-based distortion, and uh, virtually apply the effects of, of constraining that, that component. It sounds to me like you're, you're creating a massive, uh, a really stable process through this new technology. And, and I can also see benefits such as setup times. Mm -hmm. If you're not having to put new fixtures onto the machine mm -hmm. uh, and coming on and off mm -hmm. and, and the repeatability of that mm -hmm. too. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, if you've got a physical fixture with multiple clamps, it, it may not be completely repeatable. So by doing the clamping process virtually, you can obviously get a, a, a nice repeatable process from it. So Kevin, I mean, this is this is groundbreaking, really revolutionary. I'm sure it's going to be a game changer within the metrology industry. It's really simplifying the way in which mm -hmm. you hold any parts that are thin walled and, and it's mm -hmm. obviously stopping any distortion too. How should people get in touch to find out more about this new innovation? So it's one of those innovations where we need to have couple of minutes explain it nicely to people with some worked examples and and software cases so we can do that we've got all, everything ready for that just get in touch with us through the GOM website Kevin it's been an absolute privilege so, so there you have it the latest innovation from GOM virtual clamping